Hello everybody, this is the presentation of uh, the paper Undirect Force Control of a Cable Suspended Aerial Multi-Robot Manipulator. The work is a collaboration between LAS CNRS Toulouse, the Autonomous uh, System Lab of ETH Zurich and the Robotics and Mechatronics Lab at University of Twente. Unmanned aerial vehicles can be used for complex activities in which robots interact with their surroundings. Possible solutions have been found in combining the effort of several UAVs to cooperative transport and or manipulate objects. Cable suspended loads provide significant advantages for this task and the flight rain, a redundant system which is here proposed, is an example. In this work, such a redundant system has been provided with the capabilities of interacting with the external environment, which means that the payload's accurate control of the external forces and moments requires that each robot has to always guarantee that a six-dimensional wrench is exerted on the platform, even if contacts with the environment can affect the cable tightness. To make such an objective, we design a control architecture which consists of three nested loops. The outer control loop that handles the interaction task by generating compliance system trajectories in response to external branches acting on the platform. And then the intermediate control loop that is a centralized controller that generates the velocity reference for each aerial vehicle given the generated desired platform pose. And finally, each drone has its own position controller which operates in the inner control loop and determines what the motor should do based on the robot's planned trajectory. Um, the outer loop methodology's selection and implementation is the core contribution of our work. In fact, the outer loop is responsible for the interaction task management. In particular, the admittance filter makes the flight frame platform compliant with the interaction branches. The truss projector aids in projecting the exchanged force between the platform and the robot through the cables. And finally, the generalized momentum-based branch observer guarantees collision detection and identification. Three 1kg in-house quad rotors equipped with a standard flight controller, four ECs, four motors and an onboard PC have been used. Um, two distinct sets of investigation have been performed. First, we highlight the variety of behaviors that the system is capable of performing by changing the physical properties of the admittance filter. In particular, the system responds to a constant virtual external force and a real force is analyzed. Then we test the multi-robot aerial manipulator system in an unexpected collision scenario to show the suitability of the system in executing tasks in contact with the environment. Um, in all the experiments, the equilibrium pose for the platform in absence of external disturb disturbances was 001.28 meters and the orientation was 0 degrees in roll and pitch and yoke. Um, in the first set of comparison, the focus is on the stiffness constant to evaluate the behavior of the platform at steady state. In set 1, an instantaneous virtual force is introduced, whereas in set 2, a mass pulls on a rope fixated at one extremity of the platform. As it possible to see in the videos, the admittance scheme suitably performs at steady state, where the position of the platform remains close to the nominal one, according to, to the corresponding stiffness value, and the displacement in the video is shown in red. Um, the second set of comparisons shows the effect of the damping constant variation to assess the platform behavior in the transient phase. And to make this happen, the virtual force in the first case and the mass in the second case are quickly removed. Um, from the result, two main patterns can be extrapolated. The ideal mass spring damper system is better emulated during the discharging phase rather than the charging one because of sticky slips effect and friction in the pulley cable system. And then there is a small tracking delay, especially in set 2, which is a direct consequence of using the branch estimator. Um, then in the second scenario, we test the system capabilities to react to unexpected collision to adapt its behavior to such interaction by keeping the cable's tightness. To this end, a surface is placed in the middle of the arena to obstruct the way to the platform. The first test starts with a descending phase, then the platform collides with the inclined surface, the admittance filter then generates the trajectory allowing for the adaptation and the compliant behavior.
In the second step, in the second test, by contrary, the rotational compliance has been changed and as a result the platform shows a more compliant behavior on the video on the left due to a less stiff constant gain choice on the admittance filter parameters. To conclude, in this work we have addressed the challenging problem of controlling a complex cable-based aerial multi-robot manipulator while performing tasks in physical interaction with the environment. And this work shows that the problem can be solved using a suitable control architecture. There are of course still challenges to face, for example the system has not been examined when collisions could demand agile moves. Besides, other scenarios could be considered in the future.